not that you know this weather is sticking around for quite some time. It certainly is. And uh, meteorologist David Matson in for Janessa tonight, and uh, we can see all up and down the eastern seaboard there. It looks like some green, some rain on the maps. Yeah, guys, it's all a part of this unsettled pattern that's been producing the clouds, the late rain we've been seeing here in the DMV. But for our friends off to the south, they are dealing with more of the thunderstorm activity, some severe weather. A severe thunderstorm watch is actually ongoing across portions of the Carolinas. There's some of that activity down toward Florida as well. But here in the district and across the DMV, thankfully, we're not dealing with the thunderstorms. But unfortunately, this gray sky and the misty, damp conditions we've had all day, that's what we're dealing with when it comes to this current pattern. So yeah, there's that live look out toward the National Cathedral. Still very gray as we enter into the evening. And that is because we have two low pressure centers right near us. One that's off to our west. It's beginning to weaken, but it's producing some showers and a few rumbles of thunder across the mountains of West Virginia. And then this second low pressure is just off to our east, but it's close by and it's producing an easterly wind that is funneling into the DMV here. And that is part of the reason why we've kept clouds around, why temperatures have been on the cooler side. We're still only in the 60s at this hour. That's all the warmer we got through the afternoon. And it's also why light rain and drizzle continues to be such a constant theme. Now we're getting a little bit of a change as we head into the night tonight and that low pulls away from us. That wind direction will start to turn northeasterly and then eventually northerly by tomorrow. And that will bring some subtle changes to this current pattern overall and actually bring about some breaks of sunshine for some of us as we go into the day on Thursday. For now, though, as we head into the night, this is eight o'clock. Clouds are plentiful. We will still see some areas of light drizzle, but the steadier shower activity, even just those isolated showers will start to break up, which is why we're not seeing any sort of green here on Futurecast. So the rainfall looks to come to an end as we go then through the rest of the night into the start of the day tomorrow. We are expecting some areas of fog to develop out there after all of the recent rain we just picked up. There's likely to be some clouds lingering, especially as you go east toward the Chesapeake Bay, possibly as far over as the I-95 corridor and DC. But as we go later and later into the day on Thursday, there is likely to be a few breaks in that cloud deck, especially west of I-95 out toward the mountains is where you'll find the best opportunity to get some sunshine. And oh, by the way, yeah, outside of that light drizzle that we could have to the east tomorrow will be a completely dry day. The first we've had since back on Monday when we had a sunny sky in place. So it'll be nice. We get a small break from all of this rainfall, this unsettled weather, and we should enjoy it because unfortunately late Friday, the next storm system arrives with isolated showers and storms late Friday afternoon, and that will turn over to scattered showers and steadier rain, making for a soggy start to the weekend with those showers lingering a bit into the day on Sunday.